Hey, this is Terry B. from PinballRehab.com and today we're going to talk about desoldering under play field components. In addition to the tools covered in our soldering tutorial, you'll need a few additional things for desoldering. You'll need a fiberglass pin in order to mechanically clean the joints. You can use either a solder pump, also called a solder sucker, or solder wick when desoldering. The solder pump has a spring-loaded plunger and a trigger and uses vacuum to suck the solder away from the joint. Solder wick does exactly what it says. As you heat it up, it wicks away the solder from the joint. You'll also need some good quality flux for chemically cleaning the joints. Before starting, always flood the solder tip with solder and then clean it either with a sponge or the cleaning wire. Before desoldering, Always clean your joints with the fiberglass pen. You want a nice shiny metal when you're done. And then apply some flux to the joint. Whenever you're desoldering, you want to securely mount whatever you're working on. And you'll see why in a minute. A lot of people will just heat up the solder joint and then yank the wire out, which is a bad idea because solder is going to fly all over the place. Get your soldering iron in one hand, the solder sucker in the other, and apply the soldering iron to the joint, maximizing the surface contact area. Once the solder starts to melt, give it another second or two Pull your soldering iron away, move your solder sucker in place, and give it a shot. It may take a couple of attempts, but we want to get about 80% of the solder removed. Once that's done, heat up the joint again, bend your wire up. Remember, whoever did this last time probably put a J shape in the wire and clamped it down. So we want to kind of turn that J into an L and then we can gently wiggle the wire out of the joint. At this point I would finish cleaning up the lug using some solder wick since it will get that last little bit of solder more effectively than a solder sucker. Now we're going to repeat the process except using solder wick. Always apply a generous amount of flux when you're using soldering wick. Then place the wick on the joint and press down with your soldering iron. As the solder begins to melt and move up into the wick, you can slide the wick out a little bit to get to a fresh part. Once the majority of solder has been removed, we'll use the same procedure as before to get the wire out of the lug.